this video is going to cover how to access and use your school email address. So for email we use Outlook and Outlook is either on this list of applications here or if you're somewhere else in Office 365 the app launcher is always up in this top left corner so we're going to choose Outlook. Now the first time you log into Outlook you're going to be asked to set up your language which will be English United Kingdom but also your time zone so just select UTC plus zero which says London next to it on the list. You'll see it when you get there. Now to send an email we need to just click on this new message up here. Now you should only really be emailing at the moment if there is an urgent query about some work that you've been set. So we're going to click on new message up here. Now don't panic if you don't know your teacher's email address. Just start typing their surname and it will come up. So you're looking at the ones where you've got an initial and a surname. They are the staff email addresses. Now remember Mrs. Mann's assembly about the appropriate use of email. We've got to make sure we have a suitable uh, subject for your email so that will come up on the list of emails uh, when the teacher receives it but also make sure you've got a nicely worded appropriate email as well so we're just a very quick very short message just to ask a little question about some of the work that's been set so once you've double checked that you've got the right person in the to box up here and you've got an appropriate title and email then you're good to go now if you need to attach something you can click on this little paper clip down here or click on attach up at the top they both do the same thing and you get two options either browse your computer or your device or browse cloud locations now the cloud location is the onedrive we'll look at that in a separate video but if you want to send a file that you've saved on your computer then you click browse this computer you access whichever folder you need and you can just attach that file there and you'll see it appears up above the email just here if you want to delete it if you change your mind you can click on the cross just there and you can attach quite a few different files there is a limit to how big it is but it's a fairly big limit you should be okay once everything is settled and everything is in the right place just click on send and that email will send itself off to the relevant teacher if you want to double check it has sent and you've done it right just go into your sent items just there and you should see it on the list any emails you get back will appear in your inbox just there so if you're expecting a reply just keep an eye on that and your teachers will try and get back to you within the next couple of days okay so that is how to access and send an email we'll have a look at the OneDrive in a separate video